All right, now I'm on the back side of the homework. This is P102. And let's go ahead and get started. Again, you're going to want to use your two conversion charts. These are going to make things easier, especially on the first two. All right. Gina filled a tub with 25 quarts of water. What is this amount in gallons and quarts? So it's going to be gallons, but with some quarts left over because there's four quarts in a gallon. So I take my 25 quarts, I divide it by four. This is going to give me my gallons, and then whatever my remainder is, that's going to be my quarts. Okay. So your gallons are going to be here, your remainder is your quarts. I'll let you go ahead and do the math. But again, if you need any help, please raise your hand. Four horses are pulling a wagon. Each horse drinks 45,000 milliliters of water each day. How many liters of water will the horse drink? Will the horses drink in five days? So we got a few steps here. So first, uh, your choice. You can convert the milliliters to liters first, or you can multiply by four and then convert. I think it's easier to convert first because then you're multiplying by smaller numbers. So I'm going to convert that. Sorry about that. And well, we can do that for the video actually. Oh no. Yeah, I ran out of space. Um, I'm going to convert that 45,000 milliliters uh, milliliters into liters first. So to do that, I'm moving to the left. One, two, three. So I move to the left. One, two, three. So this becomes 45.0 or just 45. Now I'm going to multiply that times the four horses because now I have liters, which is what we want. 45 liters and there's four horses. So four times five is 20. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18, so 180, but that's just for one day. So now we have to multiply that times the number of days, and this will be your final answer. I'll let you go ahead and do that, that math on your own. Don't erase your work. I erase it because I run out of room. All right, the map shows Henry's town. Each unit represents one kilometer. After school, Henry walks to the library. How far does he have to walk? So he walks after school, from the school to the library. Each one of these blocks is a kilometer. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kilometers. And I'll let you fill that in here. Number four, an elevator travels 117 feet in 6.5 seconds. What is the elevator speed as a unit rate? So this is going back to uh, our previous chapters. So we have 117 feet to 6.5 seconds, and we want to get it to a unit rate. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and do that math. That's where you're going to find X. That's going to be your unit rate. All right, Julie's MP3 player contains 860 songs. If 20% of the songs are rap songs and 15% are R&B songs, how many of the songs are other types of songs? Well, 35% uh, are other types of songs. She has a total of 100%, always, always 100%. So if 35% of them are rap and R&B, that leaves 65% other other songs so she has 860 total we can change this to a ratio 65 percent is 65 over 100 and 860 is our remember fractions are always part over the whole and in this problem Julie's mp3 player contains 860 songs that's the whole the total number of songs Okay, so now you can um, solve for the part, find the part. A few different ways you could do this. My favorite is to change this to a decimal, so it would be 0.65, and then I would multiply that.
times the whole. That's my favorite way of doing it. But again, a lot of different ways to solve. Okay, number six, how many kilometers are equivalent to 3,570 3, meters? So they want us to go from meters, which this middle term could be meters, liters, it's just the general term. And then this is where they start adding the different uh, prefixes to it. So even though it says liters here, we can uh, say that is the same thing as meters as far as the metric system goes. So if we're at meters, because that's what they gave us, they, they didn't tell us kilometers. Kilometers was mentioned first, but they didn't tell us how many kilometers. They told us how many meters, so I'm going to start with what they tell us. And I want to go to kilometers. So I have to move one, two, three, and this time I'm moving to the left. So I have 3,570. There is no decimal, so I know it's behind the number. I move it three to the left, one, two, three, and I get the new number, 3.57. And if you want to add the zero behind, you can. It doesn't change the value. All right, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.